You landed on this video because you're looking for a project management tool and you've heard about Trello and ClickUp and you're not sure which one you need. If you've seen some other videos, they probably compare features and tell you about all the difference between the two and show you a demo, but you're watching this video because it still didn't answer your question. Which one do you need? Stick with me for a few minutes and I'm confident you'll feel prepared to start using the tool that's right for you and your needs. And yes, I'm a diehard Trello fan, so those of you who know me might think you know how this video is going to end. But just call me Chris Harrison from The Bachelor because I'm telling you this is the most dramatic season ever and no one predicts this ending. Here's the thing, they're not actually the same tool. I'm gonna go through a demo of Trello and ClickUp and you're gonna look at it and say, hmm, yeah, I mean, they're both project management tools and you're technically right in the sense of hot dog and grilled cheese are both technically sandwiches, but really they're actually totally different. Um, imagine it's kind of like, let's say you have a problem and someone offers you a 130 piece toolkit um, with all the bells and whistles. It's got the fancy drill bits you want, the socket wrenches, it's, it's great. Um, or they're like, you can actually have a bag of bricks and you know, actually ready to go, things like that. And the answer to which one you want is that it kind of depends on the problem you're trying to solve because both can build things, but if you want something that you can just get started with and throw some things together right away, you're gonna want some bricks. But if you wanna be prepared for literally any situation of anything that may come your way, um, maybe you want a toolkit. So let's dive into them now. So ClickUp is actually pretty cool. Like they aren't kidding. It really has everything. And I was expecting to be really disappointed, but I actually kind of like it. It does everything. It's kind of got your standard, you know, add an item here and you know, your sort of standard with adding members, giving due dates, got a time tracker in here. You can add comments, you can attach files. The document editor, it actually has its own document editor kind of like right within here. So that's pretty cool. You can literally make a doc, you know, do whatever. And it has these little like notion like command things where you can style it differently and, you know, add whatever you want in there. So this is pretty cool actually. And you can favorite things. And yeah, honestly, I'm like, you know, fairly impressed with it. You move things through status. So you define these when you create your space. So you can go through, oh, move it to next up. Or you can say, oh, this is, you know, exactly the stage that it's in. And you can add subtasks, you can add checklists. To be honest, I still haven't fully figured out when you do what. So yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. It's got your, you know, run of the mill sort of things like that. And you can drag things around and move them. And you have your idea of lists, which is different than statuses. So it's a little, little confusing there, but you've got different sort of views. So you can view it as a board. You can view it as a workload if you need to distribute it. So different sort of pieces of, of work there. Everything's made up of spaces, which I think is kind of the equivalent of like workspaces in Trello. So it's, it's pretty cool. And then there's like lots of other things tacked on top of it, right? So there's, um, there's goals if you want to be able to track your goals. So yeah, I can, you know, create a goal and I can tie it to specific tasks to see how I'm progressing through that and if I'm making progress. I mentioned the document editor, so that's pretty cool. You can make docs and embed all sorts of things and like richly format them and everything. You can even embed specific pieces of code or like iframes. I think you can make these public so you can change like who can view them. So all sorts of different things you can do with it. I really like the home page. I actually think this is really cool. You can integrate it with your calendar and kind of see like from all of your boards, here's or all of your different workspaces, here's different things that are due today. And you can say, oh cool, I wanna work on this and then like literally drag it onto your calendar. And it's kind of cool. I think this beats Trello a lot in having like one sort of centralized view of all the different things you need to work on across everywhere and being able to, you know, just have a central dashboard for here's today. And then looking at automation, pretty standard stuff with that as well. So head automation, kind of similar to, you know, you can see the different sort of options you have here, your standard sort of stuff. Basically when something changes in a card, do this or that, assign someone, delete something, move it. Uh, you can create templates and whatever you need to do with that. So I like that. I think it's pretty interesting. And overall, like I said, I was not disappointed in ClickUp. It really does have a lot of features and I can't think of a single thing that it's like, man, it doesn't let you do this. You can even record screenshots in your video or sorry, in your comments, for instance. So if you like, let's say you want to record a video 
comment to say, you know, here, here's where I'm looking at this sort of thing. And you can thread all of those there. So I actually think that's kind of cool. It really does have just about anything you'd kind of want to do in there. ClickUp is a really shiny tool. It really does seem like it's one tool to rule them all and it does all sorts of things within it. So that's great. And if you have a thousand use case requirements for the new tool that you need, then yeah, you need to be able to do this, that, you need to be able to handle dependencies, you need to be able to have individual items and unique IDs, you need to be able to handle sending video comments, you need to be able to assign multiple people, whatever it is. ClickUp seems to be able to handle it all and it's going to do just that for you. So yeah, it has everything you would need off the box, but you're going to pay for that. And when I say you're going to pay for that, I don't even mean in the price of the tool uh, because it's relatively comparable to, you know, Trello or any of these other tools you use. But what you're going to pay for it in is two things. You're going to first of all pay in your upfront strategy. Like you need someone who's been using this tool before. You absolutely need them to come in and tell you how to organize your workflows in it because there's a thousand different ways you can do things in here. And it's not very clear to me. Like for instance, I don't know how you utilize subtasks versus checklists or how you'd wanna make all of those relationships make sense. And when do you use a space versus when do you use like labels in a board? And like, what's the difference between lists and statuses? Like would I have multiple lists in a space? You need someone to come in and tell you, here's exactly what you're trying to accomplish and what that needs to look like in ClickUp. So that's your first main cost. You're definitely gonna to wanna to put some strategy in because it's gonna be a pain in the ass to change it around down the road. Your second cost is gonna be um, enabling your employees and your team to use it. So your my thought is with a tool like this, I've seen it before, it reminds me a lot of Asana, great tool, but you're gonna have people fall into two camps. You're gonna either have people who are like, terrified of this UI because there's so many different things they can do within it and they're like not sure what to click or where things are or you know what they even need to be focusing on and they're just gonna panic and completely stay away from it and not want to be in the tool at all or you're gonna have people at the other end of the spectrum who are like oh my gosh there's I can click this button I can click this button I can do this and they're gonna use it probably in ways you didn't even mean for it to be and it's going to confuse other people on your team and it's just going to be like shiny shiny toy syndrome all over so that's why i really recommend great tool great features definitely get someone to come in and first of all make sure your team knows how to use it in the way you should and second of all enable your team just just make sure they're very clear on exactly how to use it and be willing to work with that learning curve of it taking a little while to get there So now let's talk about Trello and the best way I can describe Trello is it's a digital whiteboard with supercharged sticky notes. So you just use these things called lists, um, call them whatever you want. You can drag them around and it's how you categorize basically the different stages of whatever you're working on and what it goes through. So you know, let's just say basic to do, doing sort of done. And you've got that sort of workflow. You create a card, which is your supercharged sticky note note and in that you have access to all the things we've already talked about members labels checklists due dates it's all organized right here nicely puts it in the card in a very logical format you can add custom fields if you need more fields you can add comments in here you can use markup so you know make it look like bold or different sort of things like that so it's great and the beauty of trello is that this is it. Like what I've just described, I don't need to tell you anything else and you can start sending people in and realizing, oh, here's a task. Okay, I'm working on that. I'm gonna drag it to this list. Okay, I'm gonna add a comment in progress, should be finished tomorrow. And um, you can leave it there, you can keep dragging it through. You can do whatever you want. It's There's no massively fancy UI. The biggest question you have to ask is what do you want to define your list structure as and if you want to use labels. So compared to ClickUp, no, you don't have a million features and things to do off the bat. But at any point that you want any of those things, there's power ups or different integrations that can give you the ability. So and you can attach anything you want to it. So let's say you did want to screen record comments. You could use something like Loom, which is what I'm using to record this video and just literally paste a link into the comment and that can be a screen recorded comment. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, you know, very easy to integrate with tools that are experts at whatever that thing is, such as screen recording, and then paste a comment in with that. 
rather than, you know, ne needlessly having all of those buttons and all of those options at the start. So they're both great tools. And honestly, this is the surprise ending. I'm not going to pick one and say that Trello or one is better than the other. Uh, I just see them as both completely different things. For instance, if you're wanting something that you're gonna quickly wanna get up and running and build as you like to go along, Trello's gonna be great for that. Whereas if you need something that you've got 5,000 different people wanting something different and you need to please them all, and you have plenty of time to invest in training and consultants to get you set up with it, sure, ClickUp's the, great, the, the way to go. Like, you're not gonna go wrong. They're both really great tools and have some really cool features, and in any case, you can find your way around the UI. But you're here because you want an answer and you wanna pick one. And so I have three questions that if you think through these, I think it's gonna help you decide which one you need. So first of all, how quickly do you need to get up and running? Is the answer, well, we've got plenty of time. I mean, you know, we're trying to find the right tool. We're not in a rush. Go for ClickUp maybe. Like, you know, that, that, that might work very well for you if you don't have any sort of time constraints. If you do, if you're like, I need something yesterday, ClickUp's not the way to go. Start with Trello. You're gonna be able to do just as much down the road. You can add in the pieces that you need as you go. It's not gonna be overwhelming off the bat. You won't have to worry about making it you know complicated but it will scale with you so you know in three months when you're like oh maybe i do want to be able to do this thing there's ways to do that in trello you need to get up and running now trello is the way to go next question how many features are you actually using in your workflows today and when you're looking at the features of the different tools this is where it can get kind of tricky because you're going to be tempted to be like oh I'm, i might use that in ClickUp, or oh I, I might use that in trello and sure you very well might and when you get new tools, you start to adapt new workflows. I get that. But think about in your current workflows today, what are you actually doing? Do you actually need uh, subtasks and task dependencies? Like, are you currently, whether you're using pen and paper or whatever you're doing, are you currently keeping track of, oh, this task relates to that and this one relates to that? Um, are you currently recording videos for comments to, to share with the team? No, then yeah, maybe you will start using them and maybe that's a good reason to, but don't worry about that now because if you if you focus too much on what you can do, there's a billion tools out there and you can do anything with any of them. But think about what you're actually trying to replicate in your workflows right now. And if you're not doing something now, don't worry about, oh my gosh, this tool needs to have this. Otherwise, you know, this other tool doesn't have it. So it's probably not useful for me. Don't let that bog you down. And then thirdly, how creative do you wanna be? This is, this is where it kind of comes down to, do you want something custom? Like, do you have a very specific vision of how you want your workflows to go and what you wanna be able to do with it long-term and need some customization and options? Or do you just wanna like slap a template out there and get running with it? Because this is where it comes back to kind of the toolkit versus building blocks sort of argument where I think ClickUp is a great toolkit. And if you need something custom, uh, or sorry, if you need something just like ready to go running, you're gonna need a little bit of training on how exactly to use it and someone to help you fix your workflows. But once it's set, it's it's kind of there, it's set. There's really like only so many different ways you can integrate. Like you can customize how you would set up spaces and labels and that's where it can get tricky. But in terms of like building something interesting with it, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a tool that gives you different ways to communicate and move things around. Whereas I see Trello as more of like building blocks. So you can build what you need. For instance, I just worked with someone who almost built his own sort of app for his um, construction company with Trello by using Trello as basically the UI for interacting with different jobs and then syncing data from those cards back to another board that's kind of his app for keeping track of everything in the office. And I couldn't imagine building something like that with ClickUp that would be as you know simple for the end user, but also complicated enough to be able to handle those use cases of syncing that data, organizing it, and letting everybody be able to see and use what they need. So at the end of the day, it's totally up to you. And I think if you can answer those three questions, you're gonna know, you're gonna feel in your heart, and it'll just make sense which tool is for you. And if, if you're still stuck on it, please comment below, ask some questions, because I'd, I'd love to dive more into it and talk to talk to you about different, you know, if you have use case and you're like, how would I do this? And for the record, I'm still planning to learn more about ClickUp. I'm still planning to play with it um, and, you know, kind of get more familiar with it, because I do think it's an interesting tool. And I don't think they actually compete with each other really, because, I think you're going for different things depending on which one you get. So I'm planning to learn more about it. So you might start seeing some more ClickUp videos here. 
but you're definitely still gonna see some Trello videos um, because you know, never forget where you come from. So yeah, so I hope you found this useful and interesting. And if you have any other questions or if you need any help with Trello or ClickUp or you know, just you wanna bounce ideas off someone, reach out to me. I'd love to chat about it. I, I really love nerding out about this stuff and I really appreciate you watching these videos. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm gonna keep creating videos like this and I look forward to seeing you next time.